Hello everybody, welcome to my live stream on a Sunday night. We've had a really manic, oh look at my wet t-shirt, been tidying around in this kitchen. I swear to you guys, it's only water. I promise you. So first of all, first thing we're going to do is going to beep that Google Home screen thing, because that's going to make some noise. The mic is muted. The mic is muted, it says. Okay, so uh, who's watching? Who's tuned in tonight? Uh, I'm looking at four Mikula beers. Kent Beer Reviews. It's not telling me who. Oh, it's over the other side. That's why. 17, 22 live viewers. Um, bit embarrassing. I think, what you know what it is? It's this, look. There we are. <laughs> These, these slightly condensated cans are making me look a right old mess. Right, okay. Uh, here in the mailbox, this is an IPA. We won't be doing this one straight away. Uh, then we have a stick a finger in the soil. This is a pale ale. Could be a good starter beer to kick things off. All of these beers are available in Marks and Spencers. Should we... Uh, I'm just explaining, guys, why I've got water all over my T-shirt. These cans are slightly condensated. Look, and I, I went to turn the, the camera on, and look, it's like it's fast becoming a wet T-shirt competition, and you don't really want to see that, do you? Um, I don't have a red shrimp. Uh, this is a pills, so maybe we start with this one. And last but not least, we have wood will fall down. It's a bullet device. Mm, maybe we stick the Berlin advice before the IPA. We do the Pills Lager first, then we do the Pale Ale, then we do this Berlin advice, then we do the IPA. But first, we got some comments. We got some comments. Hey, Johnny, how are we doing? Hi, Richard, how are we doing? Hello, Charles, how are we doing? Uh, Newcastle Brown Ale tastes good tonight. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the beer you enjoy. That's all I got to say. Wet, <laughs> wet, wet t-shirt competition. Oh, uh, you know, I thought I'm getting messy. I might as well get even more messy. Who, who, who cares, really? Uh, Rune, cheers. Uh, Savinio, hello, Simon, from Trist, Italy. Hello. I was in Italy two, three weeks ago. I was in Ferrara, near Bologna. Uh, fanboy, how's it going, man? Tuned in from the States in Virginia. Well done, well done. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hi, Simon, are you in your pants? I'm in old grey today. I'm like an old grey tea bag. <laughs> Hi, Simon. Uh, yeah, uh, you're not drinking enough. Uh, take it off, Johnny. Slow. Mm, maybe, maybe not. You don't want to see that. Uh, uh, we get your finger in the soul. One is on top of beer lift. Oh, that's over there. Which one's that then? Pale ale. Any good, Richard? Any good? Is it tasty? Uh, Love from San Diego. Hello, Vinish. Uh, RM. Yep. They're all good beers. Honest of Adam. Brilliant. Hello from Sydney, Australia. I'm from Finland. Hello from, from hello from Belfast. Uh, send you some two hat and black note, my friend. There they are over there. There we are. Um, David Celia. Yeah. Did you get my reply? I think I replied to that one. Um, it says, thank you very much, David. Really, really appreciate that. They're going to be done. There, that's going to be done soon. That's going to be done soon. Many thanks, David, for that. Cheers from Oregon. Uh, Great, yeah, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> it's lovely. Uh, Lex Monster Machine, uh, these are pretty good. Got four of them in the box the other week. You should not be disappointed. Which suit are they from? Max Spencers. Max Spencers. Hello from Poland, and I have had that IPA but can't be reviews. Drink an open citrus, Steve Jones, better than the Guinness crap you reckoned was better. Well, you know, it's on the day, I suppose, and it? it's on the day. I may have had a good one. You may have had a really good one. Who knows? Who knows? Yorkshire make the best ale. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Right. Okay. Uh, what do I say? I'm going to do the pills lager first. God. IPA. Right, here it is. Pills lager. 
I don't have a red shrimp. I like Makella. I'm quickly catching Makella, I think. Quickly catching him. Uh, we got some beers being brewed all over the place at the moment. Um, I'm, my latest collaboration is in Belgium. So one day, one day, hopefully, we can catch Makella. We can pass Makella. We can just do our thing. We can have crazy cans of beer like this with, with really strange names on. Um, go on, big boy. Guest against that. Put in faces. Love watching you. Thank you very much, Willie. Uh, to Hardale in the background. That's the one. How am I, Stefano? I'm fine. I'm fine. I need a beer, though. I need a beer. I'm ready for a beer. <coughs> this is 4.6% ABV. The messiest I've looked at a beer review in a long time. Here we go. Do you know what I was thinking then? <laughs> where's the camera? I normally do these Facebook things and I was like, for a moment, ah, where's the camera? It's not there, but I'm on, I'm on YouTube Live. Let's go. <laughs> 59 people tuned in. Thank you very much for tuning in. Here's a look at the beer. Okay, so beer in a glass, we got a two finger white head. I'm gonna give a glass a bit of a rub, might have some condensa condensation, but I I believe it's a, it's a slightly hazy, pale colored lager, good levels of carbonation, nice head. Looks pretty good. Should we get the aroma? Ooh, wow. Uh, this is definitely a new world, a new world lager. I'll get into all the ingredients on the back soon, uh, but it's very, it's quite a new world. It's quite grapefruity and citrusy. Very grapefruity, very grapefruity. Should we dive in? Cheers, everybody. Ooh, ooh, stone the crows. I keep checking the can, I'm like, pills, pills. Is it a pills? It is a pills. It's, it's a really hoppy pills. Really drinkable, 4.6% ABV, nice carbonation, pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's grapefruity, there's some nice peels, maybe some tangerine going on. Uh, you definitely get the pills lager style going on. The reason being, for me, it's it's quite dry. It's quite dry. It's quite peppery. It's quite spicy on the back end. But it's very good. It's a very, very nice and tasty beer. Very tasty beer. What I'm going to do now is just slightly, I think, Is that better? That's a bit more like it, isn't it? It's a bit more like it. Look at that, I got a better chin. <laughs> Watch this, guys. I'll push it back down. How, how not to do it? Having the camera from underneath. You've got to have the camera from above your head, guys. And then and then watch now. <laughs> much better, much better. It's nice. It's nice. So, guys, 75 people watching. Thank you very much. If you can give us a like, we've got seven likes going on at the moment. If you can give us a like, it would be really, really appreciative. Thank you very, very much. Bang that like button. That'd be lovely. Nine likes. Look at that. Let's get them likes into double figures. Thank you very much. 13. Look at that. The views are going up. The likes are going up. Boom. I'm going to leave that comment in. You know, Google such a... It's getting a bit nanny state, isn't it, Google? Have you noticed? Someone's put stone the 
it grows. And that's fine. That's by Greg Jackson. Google asked me if I wanted to remove the comment. No, I do not want to remove the comment. We're all, well, you should be. If you're watching beer reviews, you should be 16, 17, 18, older. You know, we're all grown ups here. We don't, we don't have to um, take away some, some, some comments. So, guys, apart from all of that, what are you drinking? I'll get to the comments in a moment. I'm interested. It's Sunday night. You've had a lovely weekend. Hope you've had a lovely weekend. What have you been drinking? Let me know. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let me know. I'm interested. Have you got a hangover from yesterday, from last night? Is your head banging? Are you like, oh man, no, I can't drink. I can't drink tonight. Can't drink tonight. Or are you thinking, mm, I got work tomorrow. Mm, I got to do that life, that life changing report in the morning. <laughs> it's going to change my life forever. You going to have you got work, or are you just going to go? Yeah, I got work, but I'm going to drink anyway. That's my cup of tea. That's me. That's me. I've got work tomorrow. I'm going to drink anyway. Let's have a look. Nigel they're saying, hi, community. Hi. Uh, drinking a KBS, Andrew Sexton. Well done to the KBS. Very nice beer. Very nice. Well done, Andrew. Uh, Nigel is drinking. Uh, oh, he's, no, he's not drinking. He's from North Wales. Cheers. Cheers, Nigel. Uh, when are you going to get a kebab? Then have seven pints and have another kebab. Just give me an idea. Just give me an idea. You know, um, I think I think kebabs definitely, definitely on the cards. I'm thinking about doing a sober kebab, then go out and have seven pints, and then do a drunk kebab, and then see how much of the kebab you've eaten once when you're sober and the other one when you're. A little bit drunk. I bet the, the drunk bear may have eaten loads of that kebab. Another hidden comment here. What's going on, Andrew Sexton? KBS is effing awesome. There we go. I'll, I'll approve that comment. Uh, I'm missing some comments. I'm not going to be able to get, all, get to all of them. There's so many, but I'll, I'll try and get to my best. 26 likes. Thank you very much. 80 live viewers. Well done. Hello, Morton. How are we doing, Morton? Not spoke to you in a while. Uh, get your beers ready for the weekend. So glad I went. On YouTube now, I uh, don't even remember why I went to YouTube in the first place now. You are here. You are here. Stay here. Stay here. There's nothing on the TV. There's nothing on the radio. Um, hello from Barcelona. M&S have a stunning range of craft beers. They have some Beaver Towns, Gamma Ray, Neckel. Uh, I've not tried any over the last few months. I'm not sure if the quality has dropped. Mm, I did the, you've probably seen in the summer. I did the Beaver Town live stream. You've probably seen that. You probably enjoyed it. Um, well, I hope you did anyway. Uh, I just seen, I just plucked the comments halfway down. Um, I just seen Titanic Plum Porter, Paul C. Titanic Plum Porter is a wonderful, it is a wonderful beer. Cage Paps. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. You know, come on. If, do you know, Google, as Google is, they seem to know everything about everything, don't they? If if Google can see that I'm approving comments with bad language, then they shouldn't, they should, you know, they're all about machine learning, isn't they, Google? They're all about kind of this machine learning stuff. I got one of these machine learning things over here, look. Uh, it's good, though. I watch all my YouTube stuff on there um, and, and, and music. And, yeah, I quite like that little, it turns my lights on, turns my lights off, turns my boiler on. I like stuff like that anyway, but but what I'm trying to get at is if I like some co or approve some comments with bad language in, then comments should come on automatically because that's what they're all about, isn't it? Machine learning. Um, Cote de Rhone. Cote de Rhone. Is that a, is that a um, glass of wine, Nigel? Uh, I've got some Chimay White. Oh, Sh Joel, Chimay White is a terrific, terrific beer. Mackie Wells, having a road and back spur beer, bloody lovely, sounds good, sounds good. Uh, GT Vegan, just tuned in, uh, first thing I noticed, you have been dribbling down yourself. <laughs> no, um, it was a bit of a joke earlier, I leaned, I got the Mac, I got a great, I'm talking to a vegan, how ironic, 
I got my big Mac. I should say Macintosh, not Big Mac. That would, you know. Sorry for the joke. Um, I got my big Macintosh computer and I put it up onto the windowsill. You're on a windowsill with me doing these beer reviews. And and the beer was kind of here, condensation, and it hit my top and it got wet down here. And then I thought to myself, I'll show you why I'm wet. I'll get myself even more wet with the rest of the condensation on the cans. And that's the reason why I'm wet on my T-shirt. Um, uh, one sub ten drinking Castle Rock Harvest Pale Ale, ninety nine pence on baggins. It that beer actually won the camera uh, Great Beer of Britain award probably in two thousand and five. I think maybe good beer. Uh, that's it, Paul C. Uh, Nigel, twelve hours bottle to throttle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand that. I understand that. Fanboy hungover bad had a bunch of Deschutes fresh squeeze IPA and celebration IPA. You you got to wonder, haven't you? I mean, unless unless you were, I don't know, drunk maybe twenty cans of it or twenty bottles. But um, you know, craft beer never used to give you a hangover, did it? Never, never really gave it unless you went bonkers on it. You wonder what what are these crap? You know, the shoots is a big brewery now, isn't it? The shoots it's a big brewery, and you've got to wonder: are they shoveling some crap into their beer? Are they starting to put some additives and 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 stuff in their beer? Um, hope not. Hope not. I quite like the shoots. Um, been drinking pumpkin mosaic lager. Great stuff. That's H Blay. Um, and M and S rotate their craft range. They seem to have replaced Northern Rock with Mikula. Um, the KBS is effing awesome. I think. I think. Oh, we, we must have. We got a load of comments now. Um, just missed loads of comments. I love that. I don't know if the cursor. You can see the cursor. Uh, my a-hole is gasping for air. What a name for the YouTube channel. I love that. Uh, any op opinion on the minimum price of alcohol due to come into effect in Wales next summer? Will it affect me, my drinking habits? Uh, probably not. Probably not. It's your kind of your four-litre, three-litre, three-litre bottle of Stonehouse. Remember your three litre bottles of Stone House Cider or your White Lightning? Terrible, terrible alcohol um, that was really cheap and, and was nasty, nasty stuff. It was like 70p when I was a kid. You could get a three litre bottle for about 70 pence. I don't know how much it is now. I've not looked for a bottle of um, White Lightning in, in, in 25 years. 25 years. 25, but about 14 years old, the last time I drank a bottle of White Lightning. Um, on the TV, nothing on the radio. Uh, that means so much to me. Yeah, have you tried out Godwin recently? Uh, what do I make of it now? Uh, Greg Jackson, what do I think of Hobgoblin now? I'm never, I'm not, not really a fan of Marston's anymore. I used to be a fan of Marston's, opened my local pub when it up when it changed over from the college into the cherry orchard. I admit some of you may remember that video. Their beers now, they're poor, and they pedigree's poor. Pedigree used to be a beautiful pint of beer, a wonderful pint of beer. It's nothing now. Same as Hobgoblin. It's it's just not the same. It's not the same. It's not how it was. I've had a chat with the brewer on Twitter. He, he swear blinds is the same recipe. I'm like, me, don't argue with me. Don't which would Head brewer, don't bother arguing with me. Your beer is not the same. <laughs> uh, uh, hit the like, folks. Have the channel. Come on, boys. Yes, that is Nigel. Hit the like button. 103 viewers. Please hit the like button. Uh, get this Get this stream out there. It's Sunday night in the UK. It's raining. Songs of Praise is on on the TV in the, in the living room, in your living rooms. There's nothing on the radio. Give, grab yourself a beer and tune into this live feed. 
the Bay Hooligan. Uh, Simon, you're going to love Bal's Hertog Bal's Nassau. That's the Bay Hooligan. How are we doing? Uh, hopefully I do. Hopefully I do. I've never never been there. I'm looking for been to Brussels. Been to Brussels a number of times. Um, love Brussels. Love Brussels. Really good place. Uh, Mark Waters. Love the channel. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Mark. Uh, Sonny James. Drinking Love and Hate by Vocation. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that little symbol there. What a beautiful beer that is. Rory Lee. I'm not you. Rory Lee for ages. He used to comment all my t all the time on my videos. Where have you gone, Rory Lee? I'm drinking the new Northern Monkey Beast Out with butterscotch, vanilla, and crown de cocoa. So thick and lovely. Sounds really good. Sounds really good. Uh, what am I having for tea, Simon? Well, what I've had for tea is going to be a video on YouTube maybe tomorrow morning. Maybe tomorrow morning. I had a porter beer. I had a porter. And I went um, up Little and I picked up the um, Yorkshire pudding wrap. Feed six people. Six people. Yorkshire pudding wrap. It had gammon, sausage, uh, turkey, turkey wrap with gammon and sausage and stuffing. It fed six. It was like that. And I um, I made a video for YouTube with a porter. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite enjoying the food. and uh, But it's got to be kind of fun food. It can't be like broccoli, can it? Broccoli paired with a Young's Best Bitter. <laughs> um, oh, man, there's loads of comments. Andrea! Right, when he's swearing at me, I'm going to let it come through anyway. You know what? We'll enjoy it. We'll enjoy it. Uh, came off a life shift. Uh, Pass Aldi. Got a few. Rain Ryan back, I reviewed because I got duty service tomorrow. Really looking forward to having a couple of hours sleep then. Woke up ill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Drink the, drink the Ryan back. You should be fine. So this beer... Nearly finished. Got to get on to the, 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 the next one in a moment. Just to wrap things up on this Macalla beer, is there pills? I don't have a red shrimp. What, what is it with the naming of these beers? I'm a little bit like, yeah, he's just like coming up with anything these days, isn't he? He's producing so many, whatever comes in this guy's head now, he's like, I've produced 40 beers in the last week. I've got no idea what to call them. My Danish is terrible, by the way. Maybe, maybe I just call it whatever comes into my mind. <coughs> Crap. Right. Next. What are we going to do? What did I say I was going to do next? Pale ale. Stick a finger in the soil. Definitely making it up, any. You've got to be making it up. Here we go. Nice bit of can on the smoke opening. A Breville wood. Oh, look at that. Bit of the old um, spillage on the opening. Hundred people watching, thank you very much. Let's see if we can get to 50 likes. Is it possible to get to 50 likes? That would be terrific. Thank you very much. While I pour this beer. Forty-six. Let's get it to fifty likes. Let's do it. Forty-seven likes. Uh stick a finger in the soil. Okay, here we go. Fifty likes. Thank you very much. Beer in the glass. Uh three to four finger. Uh, white head, uh, hazy, little bit of condensation on the glass. Let's give that glass a white, hazy. Good levels of carbonation. My webcam's not great, is it? Maybe, maybe if I do these live feeds more often, maybe I can get a better webcam um, just to to do these live feeds. <laughs> 
<laughs> 56 likes. Thank you very much. Uh, should we get the aroma on this hazy amber colored beer? Do you know, I had a little bit more aroma out of the pills. But then saying that, now the head's dissipating a little bit. There is lots and lots of... It's slightly different. This has got a little bit more sweetness in the aroma. Lots of hops. Some, it, it is some orange and lemon peel, fleshy blood orange type flavours. Not as much of a grapefruit aroma on this one. Should we dive in? Cheers, everybody. Kent Beer Reviews is well safe for an Englishman. Of course. Of course it is. Come on over. Come on over. Come and see me. Come and see me, Craig. Good drinkability, which you would come to expect from a pale ale. This one's coming in at 4.6% ABV. Nice, tasty, juicy, very drinkable. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. This is more mango, definitely more of a mango flavour going on here with this beer. Juicy, refreshing, oh, it's almost like mango juice this. Mango, a little bit of bitterness on the back end, most of, most of the flavour is up front. Um, I'm a massive fan, i got to be honest, I know I have a little joke about McKellar earlier on, um, but I'm a massive fan of McKellar's beer. Will I ever catch McKellar in, the, in the, how many beers he produces versus how many beers I produce? Because it all started off, apparently, all started off a little bit kind of the same where he would visit breweries, he would brew with them. Then people started emailing him for, for recipes. He was sending his recipes off type of thing. And then he eventually opened his own brewery. Well, if you look at my path, um, got a beer in a supermarket uh, in Tesco. I brewed in a few countries around Europe. Now I'm really pleased for that, really happy. Uh, I'm really looking forward to going to Belgium on the 22nd of November, two and a half, three weeks time, looking forward to that. But a very similar path. But will I ever own my own brewery? Absolutely not. Absolutely no way. Not in a million years. Not in a million years. Um, will I ever be just a YouTuber? Because that would be the obvious, like you're talking about McKellar producing uh, beers. Then he owns his own brewery. My path would be brewing with different breweries around Europe. Um, and, then, and then just going full time on YouTube, which would be my profession. No, I think I'll always, always visit, visit different countries and brew beer in different countries. The reason being is that um, I have a plan. I do have a plan. I don't know if you, some of you might have seen my Instagram post where I talked about I had 151,000 views in one month. And I was like, whoa, that's just... That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. And I thank you. I, I'm here now live thanking you all so very much for all of the comments and, the, and all of the views we get in the month now. It's really picking up pace. I would say January, beginning of the year, we would tick over 100,000 views, maybe 110 if we were very lucky. Fast forward, but we're fast approaching the end of the year. 
150, today, 153,000 views in one month. That is like, that's like incredible. And I thank you. I thank you all so very much. And of course, we passed 25,000 subscribers. Back in January, we had 20,000. So we picked up 5,000 subscribers in a year. We might be lucky. My my year-end plan back in January was to pick up 25,000. I did that on, a, on the very last day of October, just a few days ago. And I've already nearly picked up another 100. So I'm thinking to myself now, is it possible maybe for 26? That's 6,000 subscribers in one year. Is it, is it? Is that possible? Is that achievable? Is that... It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I thank you. I really thank you all so very much for your support. I really do. But that would be my obvious. That is my obvious dream is to become a full time YouTuber one day. I have more time now to put more effort into the videos. You may have seen a slight shift in in the content we're producing. We're producing more food, more spicy food in particular. Um, the reason for that is I cannot be selfish. I cannot be a selfish YouTuber. If I realized for eight years I was being a really selfish YouTuber, I was reviewing beers that I wanted to review. I was drinking beers. I was reviewing the best beers. I was reviewing supermarket beers. I was being very selfish and I was doing the things that I wanted to do. I experimented, done a little bit of food, and you guys seem to love it. So it's not about me. It's really not about me. It's about where the channel goes or where the channel leads me, where it leads me. If I was really selfish, I'd stand, I'd drink all of these, I'd just let them keep pouring in, pouring in beer from all over the world. Yeah, and just being, you know, I love it. I love I could drink four beers a night and in front of the camera for the rest of my life. But if I wanted to become a full-time YouTuber, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. So I can't, I can't be selfish. I can't be a selfish lover. I've got to be that, that kind of... Let the channel take, take me for a little walk down the garden path. If you guys want to watch... The, the chili video from Morrison's had 20,000 views in three weeks. 20,000 views in three weeks. That's where the channel's going. That's that's where, that's where That's the views. That's what you guys want to watch. I seem to have lost... For some reason... The Beer Hooligans comment has been hidden. I'd love to get a thousand subscribers to my channel. I'm going to show that. Why can't I? Well, well, I don't understand why YouTuber blocking these comments out. Uh, Brother Kuba, Nuck, Simon, Ma live. Um, brilliant. Uh, hello. So, what I'll do now, start at the bottom and work up. Uh, doing a great job, Simon. Thank you very much, Connor. And sweets. Mm. I will be honest, I have reviewed some Croatian chocolate recently, but I secretly, I feel quite uncomfortable eating chocolate because it's, because it's so far away from beer. It's a million light years away from beer, isn't it? But spicy curry with a beer, it's not so bad, is it? It's not so bad. So I'll program these chocolate reviews to go like at two in the morning. They still get three, four hundred views. It's, it's balmy. I'm well asleep by now. I'm gone. I'm sleeping. I reviewed some Norwegian chocolate about two months ago. Put it out in the middle of the night, two in the morning, four in the morning, whatever. And, and they're all on like four or five hundred views. It's pretty incredible. But uh yeah, I understand that. Chocolate goes well with Imperial Stouts. So I really understand that. Um, but 
chocolate, just eating chocolate, it's so far away from beer. I've got a comment here that I really want to read. Um, Morton. Simon, uh, you were wondering about the names of your Macalaviers. Yes, I was. Yeah, can you can you enlighten me, Morton? Can you enlighten me? Nigel, we love you, Simon. Thank you very much. Uh, don't worry, Simon. It's shocking how they sense a comment. I got another sense of comment down here called from Tommy Pierce. Uh, being a good dance all weekend, drinking tisky, uh, effing paying for it. Now, what, what's the matter with that? We're all adults. Tommy Pierce, your comment has been approved. Well, I need, do you know what I need? I need one of those automation people. The, 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 Tom Capira, who does the live feeds on his channel, he's got someone called Marek who will watch the live feed. If there's any bad comments, he'll take them away. If there's any comments that he feels that should be on the channel, he leaves them on there. Um, Bean and chocolate go well with chili. Absolutely. Uh, it's a direct translation of Danish sayings. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, I just thought he was off his rocker. I just thought McKellar had completely lost the plot. Um, great uh, show, Simon. Keep up the good work. Uh, I'll tune in for the next one. Of course, of course, tune in, tune in. T-shirt's dry now. Um, do you want to talk about this pale ale anymore? Or do, do you... That's the pills. I suppose if you just tuned in, I'll show you what I've been doing. Uh, we review the pills, which I've drunk. And it's called I Don't Have a Red Shrimp. Uh, this one is called Stick a Finger in the Soil. I, I just wonder on the live feeds, because it is me on my own. I am standing here on, on my own. I never, ever get to the point where I don't have anything to say. I'll always have something to say, but in which direction do you want the conversation to go? Lead me. You're the guys here commenting. Lead me in the direction, uh, a, a moderator, that's the one. Lead, lead me in the direction you want this this live feed to go. Um, do you want me to, to strictly talk about the McKenna beer? Do you want to just have a, a beer with me and have a general conversation? How's that? Does that sound good? I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. I'm quite happy reading the comments. I'm quite happy having a beer and just chilling out with you guys. That's, that, that's, my, that's my kind of evening all wrapped up in one. But if you're a bit bored, if you want me to talk about just the beer... Let me know in the comments. Uh, talking about weird comparisons. Uh, do you think about Lambic and Stout uh, from Guinness and Timmermans? Oh, yeah. Apparently, this beer's a fortune as well. This beer's like stupid money. And both of them, I mean, Timmermans, I've had a few of them Timmermans beers, and they've had like um, E numbers in them. And it's like, like peach Lambics with e-numbers and it's like yeah walk with guinness hold hand in hand go and have a walk up the park timmermans and guinness hopefully you both get yourself bumped off somewhere um oh they jammed in um they're probably like they're prop i had to wedge them and i had to wedge the wine rack open to, to fit the to fit them in I've like, like I tell, I'll tell you, um, if, if Richard Bennett's still watching, some of you might be wondering why that's out of pump clip. Um, that's one of the beers I designed when I worked for a, a beer company called Kelt Brewing Company. It was part of Evan Evans' group. Um, the Chieftain Everyday IPA. And it's 4.3% ABV. I designed that beer with um, Simon Buckley. So that's that's the reason why that pump clip is there. Um, right, okay, so maybe we got to the point now where you've where you're saying um, where you want this direction of this life to go. Uh, another beer, another beer. So Malcolm wants me to talk about. Beer and have another beer. Totally understand. I'll just read a few comments, Malcolm, if I may. 
Uh, I got to visit Barry in the next couple of months for work, uh, so we are definitely going to have a beer, Simon. Of course, of course. Um, depends what day you come. Depends on some days I'm babysitting all day long, and depends depends what day you come. I, I, I might be able to meet you for a beer. Uh, Malcolm, open another beer. Hello. Um, hi, Simon. Uh, what type of music do I like? Uh, Bowie. I like David Bowie. Uh, Nirvana. Uh, I like the older stuff, the 70s, 80s, 90s. I think music these days is oh, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. That ginger haired fella, what's his name? He was a tramp or something. He was living on the streets or something. I, 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 what was his name? The ginger haired guy, everyone's raving about him. It's a, it's a load of rubbish. And it's like, ugh. really? Is this what music is, music is today? Um, I uh, still think you should do a live cast from a bar open to subscribers to come along. Yeah, yeah, of course, could do, could do, could do. Just like get a lot of people in, talking, having fun. So I've got 84 live viewers, 69 likes. Let's see if we can get to 70 likes. That'd be lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, love the clip. Uh, thank you very much, Morton. That county on money. Steve Jones, ha ha, I was at Celt when it was Celt. Yeah, yeah, me too. I work for Tom Newman. Uh, Steve, I work for Tom Newman. Um, lovely guy. Uh, yeah, RIP Lions Brewing Company. Tom Newman, he's a proper character. He's a proper character. We got on really well, me and Tom. We went to London together, actually. Um, we stayed in Peckham in a bed sit. <laughs> we, we shared a double bed. <laughs> we were like... Drunk and we were like laid out in this bed sit in this double bed and we woke up in the morning, had some dodgy cornflakes and we were like back out. Um, I think we got a bus home then or we we had a few beers in London and then we come back. Yeah, Tom Newman's a, a real star. He's a real star. I like I like Tom Newman a lot. He's my type of guy. Uh, favorite American IPA by James Burke. That is such a, a difficult question. To answer, um, uh, my favorite, I don't know, maybe Pliny, Heady Topper, the, the the big kind of, oh, I like some other half beers, they, they're nice. Um, not really had any of the treehouse stuff, um, but it should be. Someone's, where are we? See that light flashing over there? What the bloody hell is that all about? I can't see it. I, I'm looking at the screen. I can't see that. But see that little light flashing? That's Google listening and watching me. Uh, Snake Dog IPA by, by Find Dog Brewery. Best US IPA I've had so far. Well done. One sub. One sub ten, that sounds good. Do I sell it any beer? Yeah. Do you want to see a salad beer? Don't go robbing me though. Don't come round here robbing me. So I got a three hundred pound beer in the house. I got a bottle of Dark Horizon number one. Dark Horizon number one. I picked that up while I was in Norway just a couple of months ago. Uh, comes with a. Oh, I think I just chucked that in. Um, this was an Imperial Stout at sixteen percent, sixteen percent ABV, and um, I was going to say, y yeah, if you put it on eBay, it's about three hundred pounds worth. Um, Bottle of whipped bread. Got a bottle of whipped bread down there. I got a bottle of I got a bottle of Wadworth 6X from like 93. Somewhere down there. Um yeah, 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 I've got some I've got some stuff down there. Um I I'm more of a like 
let's drink it type of um, person, drink it down. Of course, my collaborations that, that get sent here, I um, I keep a bottle of each one. Uh, I don't open it. Um, they're up on my top shelf in the in the living room. Paul C, any skull lager? Uh, long life, uh, flip a neck, uh, nice. Uh, what's your favourite beer? Wow. Uh, skull lol. Oh, skull lol. Um, I seen it in Morrison's, and I thought to myself, skull. So I get some skull, some skull lager in. I used to drink it. I used to drink these these beers years ago. Uh, I can mail you some treehouse stuff. James Rock, you've caught my attention. I've not tried any uh, treehouse stuff. If you want to send me a, a message on my Twitter, um, Twitter Real Ale Today. If you follow me and, and if you want to send me a message or even even uh, Facebook, uh, Real Ale Craft Beer, if you want to send me a, a DM, a message uh, over there, then, um, then I'll give you my address and uh, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. That might be then my next favourite American IPA because I've not tried it. Apparently everybody raves about it. It's really good stuff. And thank you. Thank you very, very much. James Rook. Thank you. Caught my attention. Uh, greetings from Hamburg, Germany. Tosh, how are we doing? Um, what is the device in the corner? It's a uh, Lenovo. Lenovo smart, okay, Google thing. But I turned the mic off so it can't hear me. Um, some very good breweries in Wales. Yeah, there is, and then there's a lot of rubbish. There's some really good breweries in Wales, and there's a lot of rubbish out there as well. There really is. But I suppose you get that anywhere. Wherever you go, you get good, you get even, average stuff, and then you get some rubbish. Uh, okay. Uh, where are we? Quarter to eight. We've got loads of time. I'm ready for another beer. I'm really I'm getting a bit thirsty. Getting a bit dry on the throat. Uh, hello, I am from Russia. Uh, is it worth living in the United States? I'm from... Where am I from? I'm from the UK. I've never set foot in America at all. Never have. I would love to. I would really love to step foot in the States. My type of place really is. Um, I wanted to go and drink all their beer. Uh, I'm from the UK. Um, but I have drank some, some Russian beers, Brian. I have drank some Russian craft beer. I was in Spain in March in Barcelona. In Catalonia, not Spain, Barcelona. And I had some really good Imperial Stouts. I had some really good barley wines. Uh, they're really good. Are there any good breweries in Denmark? I've, I've got a whole night of Danish beer here. Well, Danish American, maybe. Where's this stuff brewed? Oh, it's brewed at De Proof in, Bel in Belgium. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, Berliner Weiss. Should we do Berliner Weiss? Let's get it up to, well, I can't ask about 100 viewers, can I? That would be like, oh, oh my goodness me. Boom, Nigel. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Have a beer on me, bro. Awesome channel. That is, I've done, I have done four or five broadcasts, live broadcasts on my own here on YouTube. I did one with Tom Kapila from Poland and I was like, what's this uh, this thing, this donation thing? And he was saying, people are donating money for your cause. And I was like so humble, like, oh my goodness me. And again, this is on my own, standing here in the kitchen on my own. This is the first time there's a little, I'm not advertising this for one minute. I'm just pointing it in the direction here. There's a little smiley face. Next to the smiley face, there's a dollar sign. Can you believe it? People can donate money to you. They can they can donate money to, 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 to your live feed. So, Nigel, thank you. I will have a beer. I will have a beer. And I tell you what I will do. I will put that towards my next beer on my channel. That five pound, 
<laughs> oh my goodness me. Cheers and fresh and cheers. Dan Travel. Oh my goodness me. That's nine pounds. I, I, I'm going to buy, I'm going to put the nine pounds together and I'm going to buy a bottle of Imperial, a really good Imperial stout. And I'm going to put it on the channel for you guys. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Dan Travels and Nigel. What a lovely, 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 lovely thought. And, and it's the most humbling thing ever. And, and for the first time tonight, I'm almost lost for words. I'm almost lost for words. That's, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get this beer open as a celebration. I'm not going to put it in the IPA glass. I'm going to put it in. The IPA glass. That is an IPA glass. Two different styles of IPA glass. I think you know where I'm coming from. So this is a building advice. I, I'm completely, you've lost me now, guys. Them donations have completely thrown me. I poured a beer out for the first time ever without introducing what I'm pouring. Nigel, Dan, thank you. And thank you all for the comments and everything else that, that comes our way on the channel. What a beautiful... Beautiful, beautiful bunch of people you are. This is called uh, Wood Will Fall Down Berlin of Ice. And it's McKenna there snapping pencils. Uh, I'm going to pronounce you that little bit of Danish at the bottom. I wonder if Peter, the master of hoppers, is watching. If he's watching, I'm going to go, the Fowler brand Ned. How did that go? Anybody from Denmark watching? How did that pronunciation go? And I think that says, wood will fall down. Aroma, aroma. <laughs> yeah, that's terrific. Absolutely terrific. A proper Berlin of ice. Salty, slightly sour. Oh, um, somebody's asking, Ed Sheeran, that was it, yeah, Ed Sheeran, that was him, that was him. <laughs> Top lobster. Uh, it's beer o'clock, love the child, keep it up. Yeah, <laughs> you, throw, you are throwing me so far off topic now, guys. I've just poured a beer, I don't even know what I'm drinking, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Thank you very much, Stone of Blooming Crows. Um, that's absolutely staggering, absolutely staggering. Thank you all so very much. Um, that's over, that's, that's like, £12, £13 for the night. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. Uh, so, um, where was he? Uh, Gats Gats is that it? Right, okay. So, so some of you... <laughs> Chug it. Okay, okay. Um, very... I, I will... I promise you I will... <laughs> I will check it. Um, somebody's tuned in late. They're asking what beers I'm drinking. Uh, I have a Finger in the Soil uh, Pale Ale from McKellar. We're doing the McKellar range from Max and Spencer's. Uh, the I don't have a red shrimp. That is a Pills. That was the first beer we drank. And, um, oh, my God, Charles Dunn. Charles Dunn. Unbelievable. Thank you very much, guys. And this is a balloon of ice called uh, Wood Will Fall Down. Um, I'm going to do a quick review, and because chug, 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 I can't, I, 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 okay, I have never, I'm going to have to do this take in one, okay, do this take in one, I'm going to have to chug it, I got 50, I got all, all sorts of money coming in for, for, for this chug, cheers, the first ever chug on the channel. Oh, that's sour. That's completely sour. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
uh, salty, sour. There's some fruit flavors <clears throat> coming through on the back end. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not a chugger. I, I, could, I, I will chug, of course. I will chug. Oh. <coughs> Sorry guys. Uh I love you too. I love you. I chug chug chug. Love you. Love you all. That's amazing. Thank you very much for the um that lovely donation. Charles, thank you. Nigel, thank you. Uh Cage Paps, um, thank you very much. Um lots of you. Let's have a look at look. Nigel, Dan, Dan again, Top Lobster, unbelievable. Charles Dunn, thank you also very much for the donations <laughs> for the night. Uh, yeah, exactly. But um, okay, um, <laughs> thank you very much for that. Um, passion fruit banana rice. You got lots of the passion fruit. It's very juicy, nicely carbonated. Beer gets pushed on the inside of the mouth. Um, it's just lovely and juicy and salty, sour, passion fruit. <laughs> Bam. Uh, Bilbo Baggins. Bam. Uh, the best channel about beer on YouTube. Uh, could you do a review of Black Witch from Witchwood Brewery? That five pounds, I will definitely go and find a bottle of Black Witch on... Can somebody let me know? I, I, I know... <laughs> I have seen that beer. I have seen that beer in um, Morrison's. I've seen it in Morrison's, but not all. I haven't seen it there for a while. Did, did, can you? Can anybody let me know in Wales? I live in Wales. Where I can get a bottle of Black Witch from Witcher Brewery off the shelf? Can I get it in Home Bargains? Can I get it in Morrison's or Asda's or? or uh, what's the other one? Tesco's. Can I get it in Tesco's? That would be awesome. Or Lidl or Aldi or Satan's Breeze. Or where, where can I get a bottle of Black Witch? Um, buy it from Morrison's and Tesco's. When my wife comes down, um, she'll come down. She'll be in a, a, a night clothes. I'm going to call her. I'm going to say, look, unbelievable. Look, Malik, unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> what a, what a, uh, uh, such a humble, such a humble thing. Um, but thank you very much. Uh, Mackie Bell, Steaming Giant IPA is a must do. Uh, B&M or Morrison's, I think. Uh, that's for the um, Black Witch. Um, no look at Asda. Okay. Uh, I've seen it, uh, but not for a while. Exactly, Nigel. I'm in the same boat as you, Nigel. I've seen it. But not for a while. But not for a while. Maybe it's the magic. Ask Ali. Ali at the magic beer shop. I haven't seen Ali in months. I normally go and see Ali. Well, I'll be going to see Ali after this wonderful night of, of, of donations. I'm going to buy uh, a load of beer from the channel. Oh, for the channel, I'm going to buy some really, really good, good beers for the channel after these donations. What a, what a lovely thing! Again, I'm not going to bang on about, on about it too much now because. It's going to get, start getting a bit cheesy. It's going to start getting a bit, bit, bit um, you know. Um, but, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, hi, Simon. Love your review. Keep up the good work. Uh, wondered if you try and get hold 20% uh, old. What's this? Um, sorry, sorry, Evie Dixon. My apologies. Altage 21% old enough to brink. Aldridge, they're from uh, Holland. They're, they're, they're a brewery from Holland, yeah? Um, where's a good starting point uh, when trying craft beers? Graham Clark, that's a really good question. Starting point for really good craft beers. I would say this would be... <laughs> A four pack of skull, yeah, two pack. I will be getting it in Morrison's. A four, four pack of skull. Are you, 
<laughs> You've got me. You've completely got me. Uh, Willie, that's probably the funniest joke I've ever heard in my life. Look, I'm going red. Um, nearly, nearly in tears here. Yeah, most definitely. Um, a four pack of skull. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is, this is, uh, you know, uh, thank you. I will get a four pack of skull and we'll do a four pack of skull on the channel. Oh, maybe I couldn't. You just see me chug a bull in a vice from a 330 can. And I was, I was really sick. You know, it's one of these things that I have this reflex thing where. I, I struggle to chug, but of course, I mean, Boogie, you know, the Boogie, uh, the, the gamer on, on on YouTube. I think someone, he's never done a press up in his life. He's like this 29 stone gamer. I think Boogie2988, I think. And someone, someone, he did this something like this on, um, is it Twitch? I don't know too much about it. Twitch, where I think you can, you, you can donate on Twitch. And I think someone offered him like a load of money to do some press ups. And he was like, oh, I'm getting good at doing these press ups. So, similar thing. You're like, I'm going to check this bloody beard. <laughs> um, that's all the, 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 the witch wood, uh, which I got to get. I got to get a bottle of that um, black witch. Um, oh, Cage Pops, uh, if I can request a beer for my donation. I'd go with Brewdog Indie version 2. Okay, Chief. Keith Puffs. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I will get some version 2 of Brewdog Indie and, and give it a review. And give it a review. Because I was quite harsh. I was quite harsh on the first review. It was a terrible beer the first time round. It really was. It reminded me of the old bloody, the old best bitter days. Dreadful, dreadful stuff. Um, I'm just picking comments now. I'm not going in any particular order. I'm just plucking comments out of the air. Um, Graham Clark, uh, where would where would be a good starting point when trying to craft beers? <laughs> Fathom, hey, hi, Pulsey, calling your name. Okay, um, The de I got a couple of death squad. I got to answer and and uh, another one. The starting point for craft beer, Max and Spencer's. I know it sounds like an expensive chore to go to Max and Spencer's, but but you. I think you can buy four of these beers. You get one free. I bought four of these beers. I had one free. Might seem a little bit out there. I think they're two pound fifty a go, and you might be like, "Whoa, two pound fifty for a three thirty can!" You might be thinking, "Oh, that's you know, especially when you can buy a crate of Foster's or Canon for 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 you can buy four pack." And well, I don't know. I've not bought lager for a long time, but I'm sure you can buy four cans of lager for for three quid, Foster's or or Canon or I don't know. I don't don't check, but um. Go to m &S. Try m &S. Try these. You're watching my review. You're watching my review of these beers. Um, the Berliner Weiss, let me put that to one side for a minute. And this is, I'm talking directly here to Graham Clark. Put the Berliner Weiss down for one minute. Or maybe half an hour if you're going to be drinking these cans. Start off with the pills. Start off with a Pils Lager. That is probably something that you're going to be very familiar with, is a Pils Lager, with some hops. The hops are juicy, they're fruity, they're grapefruity. It's a very pleasant drink. Start off with that. £2.50. Very nice Pils for the money. Then move on to their Pale Ale. This is more mango, juicy mango, very drinkable Pale Ale. Move on to that. Then this is a lit. This will be a little bit crazy for your taste buds. If you're new to craft beer, a Berliner Weiss is pushing the boat out. You may go, I'm never trying a craft beer again. Or you may go, I totally love this style of beer. It's a passion fruit Berliner Weiss. 
you will experience salt flavors, sour flavors. Then you'll experience sharp but sour passion fruit flavors. There'd be so much going on in uh, with your taste buds. It'd be blowing your mind. And it will, it will either make you or it will break you. You will either go back to drinking Worthington's Best Bitter Cream Flow or whatever they call it, or Carlin or Foster's, or you will go, which is more likely, my taste buds have been blown to bits. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I can't say anything about the hair in the mailbox IPA because I've not tried it yet. Should we get it open? First of all, um, we got some comments. Charles Dunn, one of the donates, is unbelievable. Thank you very much, Charles. Thank you. I know I'm very quiet these days on um, the whole messenger thing. Um, I, yeah, I just, I just, we had a private conversation. I, I, won't, I won't go what happens over the last few weeks. I'm not going to go into that now. Um, I'm, you know where I'm coming from. I'll read your comment. Uh, at the moment, you can buy Sierra Nevada, California IPA, eight cans for £10 in Morrison's. Do you know, you mentioned this, Charles. You, you mentioned the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. No, sorry, Sierra Nevada, California IPA. I can't see it. I've been to the Barry Morrison's. I go to the Barry Morrison's four times a week, at least, at least four times a week. I can't find this 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 California IPA. Can you tell me in the comments here which Morrison's do you go to for this California IPA? I really want to try it. I really want to try it. Um, yeah. Doesn't it all turn to alcohol? Uh, Paul. I mean. If your sole objective here, oh, I can see lots of your comments in a lot. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, all the comments are pretty decent. I was thinking then, oh my God, what's going on here with this? But yeah, um, thank you for the comments, Paul. Um, if your sole objective is to just get drunk, then of course, any alcohol will do. Any alcohol will do. If, you, if your sole purpose is just to get drunk. If you want to try something pretty decent and taste it while you drink and enjoy it, make pay a little bit more money. Ah, uh, Shrewsbury and Shop, Shropshire. I thought you were from Wales. I thought if, for some reason, Charles, I thought you were from Cardiff. Why would I think that? Um, the beer hooligan. Um, I probably visit six to ten different Morrisons a week. In my job, so I look for some for you, Simon, and pick them up for you. I mean, that would that would be absolutely terrific. That would be absolutely wonderful. Um, Nigel is saying hi, Charles. Then, um, Shropshire. I've been to Ludlow. Next time I, I go to Ludlow in May for the judging competition, the the Ludlow Food Festival, like on a Thursday. Go on a Thursday with my friend Chris, or maybe a Friday. Come over, come over to Ludlow. We we'll have a beer, most definitely. Hey, yo, Simon, yo, Simon, how are we doing? How, how are we doing, Alex? How are we doing? Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Shrewsbury, lovely play. I'm not, I don't think I've ever been to Shrewsbury. I don't think I've ever been. It sounds lovely, though. Shrewsbury sounds like a lovely place, doesn't it? You will. Hello from Germany. Hello from Wales. How are we doing? Thanks for tuning in. Um, it's a wholesome pills joke. Thank you very much, Paul. Uh, okay, I think uh, there's uh, one more comment. Jacob Wright. Ah, he's, he's hey, uh, Jenkins. He is Jenkins. 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 Is my man. You've been very quiet lately, Jenkins. I've been waiting for all your comments. Where have they gone? I've been waiting and waiting. Um, thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, you're the great guy. Um, love the comments. Keep commenting, please, on the channel. I do really appreciate your daily comments. Uh, Aaron McIntyre, I had that Berliner and my God, it was sour. It was really sour. Just, just, just chugged the sour beer <laughs> on their channel. Um, uh, is Brooklyn Lager worth trying? <sighs> you know, my problem is, is that I reviewed all of these beers when they were really bloody good. I, I seen a comment earlier, somebody saying Sierra Nevada Pale. Oh, there we are, Steve Jones. Up, up, up there. Sierra Nevada Pale Ale isn't what it used to be. It's not. 
It's true. It's not. Neither is Brooklyn Lager. That used to be fantastic. They're all like mass-produced beers now. And my problem is that when I was trying them, I was like, oh, this is really bloody good. And I get so many comments now going, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. This beer is tasteless. And I'm thinking to myself, you need to go back and have a look at the bloody date of when I reviewed this beer. It was like eight years ago I reviewed Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. It was actually sent to me from America. Sierra Nevada Pale Ale was sent to me from America to try. And Sierra Nevada Torpedo, Dogfish Head 60-minute IPA, 18-minute, uh, 90-minute IPA, I think they brew. All of these beers were sent to me from America. But I'm getting all this talk and I'm getting thirsty. I'm getting really bloody thirsty. Uh, beer of our lives, beer. Hey, Simon. Greetings from Germany. Uh, is Holston in the UK the same as in Germany? I have not had a Holston Pills production in ages. What was that? I, whenever I say Holston Pills, I always put production on the end. What was that whole Holston Pills production? It was like an advert on the telly or something. Um, uh, cracked open a can of Swimming Giants Double IP from Burning Mill and Finback. Lovely. Well done, Jenkins. 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 Well done. Um, right. Hair in the Mailbox by Mikala. Got over my burping session now and I'm ready to go again. Mark Eastbash, 1664 Cronenberg, still 5% and tasty for a mass produced beer. Chug, chug, chug. Oh, it's happening again, man. It's going to happen again now, you know. Here we go. I'm not going to chug it yet. I won't chug it yet. I'll look for something, a certain something before I start chugging. <laughs> Right, before the crazy stuff happens over there, I'm going to do a proper beer review this time. I promise you. If I'm watching over there, I'm like... Um, <laughs> it's going to be a, a running joke, this, isn't it? A running joke. Every time I pour a beer on a live stream, it's like chug, 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 chug. Donation, donation. Um, four finger, uh, white head. Uh, good levels of carbonation rolling down the side of the glass. It's a, it's a light, pale coloured beer. Should we get the aroma? Ah, the sugars turn to alcohol. Remember the slogan? Of course, yeah. Most, all stroke most sugars get turned into alcohol. The yeast eats the alcohol. No, sorry. The yeast eats the sugar, craps out alcohol. So we're all drinking yeast poo. Here is the yeast poo. Aroma. John Anderson, didn't get a response for Stone the Crows. I got it in here. I will get back to you in a moment. Let me, I'm in my, in my beer reviewing moment. Aroma, uh, first of all, the, ABV for this IPA is 6.3% ABV, a really, really good, decent kind of ABV for this style of beer, 6.3% ABV. Here's another really important comment from Nathan Daz Palidrum. How often do I drink beer? I will also get to that. You'd be surprised. You'd be really surprised. You will be really, really surprised. Honestly, I'm not joking. A little citrusy. It's a little dank. It all seems to be kind of compressed into the beer. It seems to be just a little bit of aroma. Waiting for that flavour to kind of burst through. Yeah, dank. Very dank. Dank meaning probably lots of flavour, not so much aroma. That's my kind of best explanation as to what 
dank is in a beer. Cheers. It's um, because they've upped the malt bill. They've had to up the malt bill, get a little bit more malt in the beer to get that 6.3% ABV. You get a little bit more balance in the beer. There's a little bit more going on in terms of a little bit more sweetness. Um, it is slightly more malty. Some biscuit, some breadiness coming through. Good levels of carbonation. On the back end... It's not so bitter, but it's full of flavour. Full of flavour. It's very nice. Juicy, tangerine, grapefruity, uh, citrusy. Hey, Sinisa! Hey, hey, hey. Okay, um, guys, I, I'm going to pause the beer review for a very special person. Person over here, Sinisa. So to top it all off, this beer is just fantastic. I'll get back to this in a moment. Um, it, a lot of you would have seen that I was doing the oh, doing. I was oh yeah, I was in Croatia last week. I had a wonderful time in Croatia. We brewed a stout. It's called Simon's Engine Oil Stout. Uh, it'll be coming out. I had a little bit of an update today from Sunisa. We had a chat about lunchtime, and he was saying the beer is more or less finished fermenting. Um, it just needs to kind of settle down in the fermenter another week maybe just to polish everything up. It's going to be good. It's going to be a really good – it's going to be about 8% ABV. Simon's Engine Oil Stout with Barber Lab Split Craft Brewery. Um, your name on YouTube is Fjeza. Sinisa. Sinisa. I know you were Sinisa. We were having a beer. We were having a beer in 25-degree heat um, just, just over a week ago. And now I come home and it was like 2 degrees. I was like, oh, my God, it's freezing over here. Um, cheers to you. Uh, Sanisa. Okay. I got your name just right this time. It's because I can read it. I can read it and say it. Um, uh, does your subconscious voice ever try and convince you to give up alcohol? To reduce your gut size? Mine does. Greg Jackson. <sighs> Do I do it? Do I don't? Do I do it? That was not an illusion. That was not an illusion. That's a 40-year-old six-pack. <laughs> a 40. That's a 40-year-old six-pack. Um, I still. Well, no, I don't. I've not. I've not worked out in. Good God, in two years, still got a six-pack. I just one of these weird genetic people, genetically modified robotic human beings <laughs> Who, who's drunk. Like, look, look, you can see the t shirt, you know, it's like it's like hanging off one of these cold in your neck. These, these gray, always when I was young, um, whenever I was in my late 12, 13. All of a sudden, I just started packing on all of this muscle. I was like, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not, I'm not working out. I used to play rugby. I used to do some running. But but I'm just like genetically weird in the in the fact that, yeah, I got a bit of puppy fat around the face, but but I can still hold a six-pack. It, <laughs> it looks, you know, it looks. <laughs> It's weird. It's just bloody weird. Uh, can it be real? <laughs> it is real. That was, you know, do I have time 
to go to the um what do they call it the makeup shop and and have a a, a cosmetic six pack fitted to my stomach but not a cosmetic what do you, uh, uh, uh plastic uh rubber a rubber six pack fitted <laughs> beer belly six pack <laughs> um somebody asked me some really i was going to get back to it somebody asked me some really important questions earlier uh simon says stop lighting the drink what do you do Thomas, do you know, I think he, I think Thomas Kapura stopped doing the live stuff because it actually affected his his viewership. It was affecting his viewership. Um, his ratings went not rate his viewership went down massively, massively, massively. And I think that was because he was just live all the. He come over to the UK and he was live all the time. I was thinking, this this is like. Why are you blocked on Facebook? Oh, I just, I think, do you know, I don't block people. It's just sometimes I get a million, billion messages come through and I'm like, I haven't got time to answer all of this. And I just, I just not block. It's just, it's just Facebook say block. Me, I just like, I've got a really busy life and, and I can't spend my whole time answering and replying to questions on Facebook. So, so, drunk mass. <laughs> it, it's just, I don't have time. I don't, don't have, I, I can't, you know, life is the, is, is, is so, I have, I just, you know, I don't, I don't have time. I don't have time to answer all of the stuff. Facebook's a weird thing. It's intrusive. Facebook's a really intrusive network. Somebody messages you on let's go let's let's call let's call you by your name. Why am I blocked on Facebook? Where where even is that comment gone? <sighs> Somebody just said, why am I blocked on Facebook? I, I can I, I I know why I blocked you. Oh, yeah, where is he going? Just read it. Ah, there we are. Karun Batty. Why am I blocked on Facebook? I got Facebook Messenger, that circular thing that comes on your phone. And that thing can bang in my ear, bang, and it makes a bloody noise every time it comes on my phone. That can bang in my ear 4,000 times a day. 4,000. And it's annoying. It's really bloody annoying. And I just like some people like like just send me a, like like loads of loads of comments. And I'm like, man, I can't, I can't. So I go into the settings and I'm like, can I just silence these people? And it's like you can't silence them, but you can block them. So it's not it's not me. Um, the word block for me is like blocking you out of your life blocking you out of building a brick wall and never hearing from these people again. It's a bit harsh for Facebook to be able to say, like, can I just silence these people? Or do I, you know, or block? It's just block. So no offense, no I'm done. I don't dislike you as a person. It's just I had a lot of comments from you one day and I was like, I can't mentally take, I'm trying to edit a video on YouTube, I can't mentally take all of this bloody stuff coming my way. So it was block and that was it. That was it. <laughs> uh, use messenger light instead. Less intrusive and turn. Uh, thank you very much, Steve Jones. Thank you very much. Uh, you should be able to silence particular chats too. Brilliant. While we're on the subject of this, um, it's just got to the stage now where it's just very busy all of the time. I don't really have time to kind of drop tools. I'm from the moment I wake up in the morning uh, to the moment I go to bed in the night. It's constant. It's all day. And, and <clears throat> don't get me wrong, I love it. I love this whole ecosystem that I'm involved with. 
But there, there's questions that I can, or not quite comments I can answer to. And there's comments where I just simply don't have time to, 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 to answer all of these comments. So, so no offense if you've messaged me, if I haven't got back to you, I apologize. It's just me. Nobody else runs this thing. It's just me. You can tell that by the bags under my eyes. Just the bags under my eyes alone will, will, will tell you that it's just me on my own doing this whole thing. This whole show is just me. Um, yes, Poland 2019. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Uh, Favourite Belgian beer. I am from Belgium. I love your videos. I'm going. Did you see my latest video? I'm going to Belgium. I'm going to Brewery de Dr. Van der Corrida on the 22nd of November. I'm really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. I had another comment about, oh, yeah, the, the comment. Uh, first of all, I love that kind of like eyeball thingy, guys. Great. Uh, tried any beers from Wanda Beyond. Had three from them so far. Amazing. I, I will certainly look. Certainly look out for them. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, Simon, you need help as this channel is about to take off in a big way. I think so. I think so. I've just got to grab. No. No. I didn't realise my wife was downstairs. I thought she was upstairs, but she's downstairs playing Red Dead Redemption 2. On the um, Xbox, um, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I need to start thinking about. Um, can I ask you a question, Nigel? As I'm here, um, if there was a way of maybe sending a few questions your way uh, on Facebook or something, um, is it if it, if it, first of all, if there's a way of doing it. Uh, could I send it to, as you're suggesting, so-called helpers? Uh, if there's a way of doing that, that would be amazing. You're from Ferrara, Italian. I was in Ferrara three weeks ago. Um, Bologna and Ferrara. I was in the two cities, back and forth. Um, uh, Novosti. Uh, sorry, sorry, Novostal NL. Don't just stress yourself, mate. When the subs go up. Many things change, and you can't personally reply to everyone anymore. That's only natural. Uh, would you ever do live gaming on your channel? No, no. Um, I did do the um, – the. this is Craig at Kent Beer Reviews. I met Craig. He's a good guy. Um, I know I can't do that. <laughs> I totally, totally get that. Totally get that. It's, it's, it's so hard. It's so hard. Trying to trying to run everything because people think you're rude. Oh, look at that knobhead! Look at that bloody knobhead there who, who, who won't reply to my comment. It's like no, it's not that. It's just it's like bonkers. It's like it's like crazy. Um, <sighs> where was I? I was I was um, gaming. That was a total of gaming. Um, I had um, Twitch connected to my connect my Xbox Live connect. Thing. I used to do stuff on Twitch. <laughs> I got a channel on Twitch called Craft Beer Gaming. I don't use it anymore, but I got some old stuff on on Twitch called Craft Beer Gaming. <laughs> I had a little pop of that a few years ago. Uh, I may have even done something earlier on this year. I was playing Project Cars. Project Cars. I'm a, I'm a big racing, big big racing uh, uh, fan. Um, of course, drink along. I've, you know, again, again, Jenkins, Jenkins, Jen what's your name? I can't keep calling you Jenkins, Jen even if you give me a nickname for me to call you, I can't keep calling you Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins. It's too long. It's too long. Give me a nickname for you. Um, the drink along. Again, it's just one of these things. It's just, it's, it's bonkers. And, and I just, I just forget. Which of the beer reviews on YouTube are worth checking out? Uh, keep up a great work. Check out Kent Beer Reviews. He's a lovely guy. Uh, check out Hop Scene. Uh, check out uh, who else? Um, Greg's is it? Greg's Beer Reviews. Uh, check check him out. Just just search. The best thing to do is search the beer, the beers that you drink, the beers that you're interested in, and um, 
watch the review of people who are drinking the beer. Um, master, of course, Master Hoppets. Um, Morton, uh, Matt Peter again last week. Uh, we got to get you to Denmark, mate. Yeah, Morton, I've got to go to Denmark. Most definitely got to go to Denmark. I haven't heard much from you, Morton, recently. It's been a, it's been a good while. It's been a good while. Somebody asked me, that was it. Somebody asked me about my drinking. My drinking. Do I drink every day or something like that? It, it was a comment 20 minutes ago. Do I drink every day? Believe it or not, believe it or not, I had a skinful in Croatia. A skinful with the wonderful Sinisa from Barber Labs Brett Craft Brewery. We did lots of reviews, lots of content. I was able on a rare occasion, a rare occasion to have a week off. So I've had a week off the beer. I've not had a beer in a week, not seven days, seven days since my last beer. So so I do, I do have a break. You have to have a break. Uh, you have to look after your body and eat burgers instead. <laughs> um, Enjoyed your beer with Chad's Beer Reviews. Uh, that was a memorable moment. Uh, you guys are real fine ears. He's gone. Big Nation is gone. Um, Chad was before me. I was before Big Ignation. Um, I think Big Ignation just got really popular because of his really, really, and I, I admit this, really good editing skills. Uh, the guy, just the one, Jen I'll call you Jenkins. I'll call you Jenkins. Uh uh, Chris Steltz in his day when he was when he was really really enjoying the the, the the beer reviewing was great. He was really good. He was on top. And I think if he carried on, if he carried on today, he'd he'd be in a he'd have a hundred thousand subscribers quite quickly. I think by now, but he chose to stop, and I think he chose to stop because he wanted to own a brewery. Chris Daltz, Big Ignation, I think has his hands in a brewery, which is pretty cool. Nice guy. Um, we did fall out. Me and Chris fell out years ago over something. <sighs> I don't even remember, but we've made up since. We, we've, we're, I mean, uh, what, what happened? Oh, I, I tried calling him out of retirement. I tried to say, Come on, Chris. Come out of retirement. Where have you gone? We love your videos. And I think on Twitter he replied with something like, cheers, mate, that sort of thing. So so as far as it goes, I think me and Chris Stouts, we're, we're kind of water under the bridge. I think if we met in America or if he come over here to the UK, I think I think we get along okay. Um, we're two happy-go-lucky type guys. I don't think we have grudges. Uh, but we fell out about 2013, I think, 2013, we fell out over something which I can't even remember. I can't even remember why we fell out. Um, who knows? Get down to Mackey's when you can, mate, and try their Brazilian stack. It's very good. I will do. I will do. Um, but, guys, 99 live viewers. I hope I don't lose too many. Um, I wish I had somebody to take over. But you might notice I'm a bit like this at the moment. Do, 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 do. I'm, um, yeah, it's time for a wee. I need to go for a wee. Can I have possibly two minutes downtime? I'll be back in two minutes. I'm going for a wee.
I'm back, guys. Oh, 87. I lost 12 of you. I lost 12. Guys, I needed to go for a pee. I'm on my own, yeah? I'm on my own. Who else is going to run the show? I can't drink four beers and not have a pee. Couple coming back. You're coming back. You're coming back. Uh, <laughs> saved by the bell. Uh, I thought beer goggles reviews was good, but uh, <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Uh, lovely nation on the time of bowl. <laughs> Look, it's one of these things. Nature called. Nature called. I had to go for a wee. You know the problem? The problem is, and you guys will know this now, and you'll be commenting before I can even say what the problem is. The problem is, once you've broken the seal, once you've started drinking, you've broken the seal. Oh, my God. Every 15 minutes, I guess. Whoa. Hey, guys. It's Simon from Real Oak Craft Beer. Uh, we're going to be drinking this pale ale from... Uh, from <laughs> we're going to be dancing around the bloody living room, the die the kitchen, right? We're in the kitchen, uh, broke the seal. How many you had tonight? Only four beers, but I haven't drunk for a week, so my alcohol tolerance has probably dropped a fair bit. Uh, if you were a true pro, pro, you would have pissed in the. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Bit of smoke on the opening. Uh, Simon has filled two cans of carling. I sure have. I had to go. I had to go. I'll get my coat. One more cast is gone. One more cast. Oh, I'm really sorry you had to go. Um, I had at least two empty cans. So you were ready to... <laughs> Could have done. Could have done. But that would have been a bit bloody uh, disgraceful, wouldn't it? Uh, yep. With the dishes in the sink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like I've talked too much about this IPA, but I feel like this is a McKenna full beer broadcast that could get really messy tonight. I'm in the mood, especially after them donations. I'm in the mood to crack something else open. This could this could get really messy. This could get really messy tonight. Uh, I got work in the morning as well. Uh, okay. IPA here in the mailbox. This is the last beer. I'm trying to be professional now. This is the last beer from uh, the McKellar beers that are available in Max and Spencer's. Good lacing. Good carbonation. Um, nice tasting beer. Good good malt body. Good biscuit malt body. Lovely hops going on. It's juicy. It's 6.3% ABV. It's a really Good beer for for two pound fifty. It's a really, really good beer. Really good beer. Uh, drinking a few McEwen's Champion. Watching your videos. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, not had any of them yet, but uh, seen them in M and S. They're good. They're really good. Fair play. Max and Spencer's are kind of like it's almost as if they've employed somebody who really likes craft beer. Or craft beer is just about to go crazy. I mean, a few of you have said the channel's about to go crazy. I am a bit stressed out about it. I am a bit like, where do I take? Where do I take it? Where do I? Where do I take this channel? Where do I go? Do I concentrate on beer? Do I do beer and food? Do I just do food? Where you know? But everybody's different. Everybody on the channel wants different things from the channel. It's like it's really quite stressful because the only gauge I can go on is the amount of likes I get. The only gauge I can go on is, is the amount of comments I get and the amount of views I get. And if, if I get a crazy amount of views for me eating chili, then 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 that's what people want to watch. That's that's what they find funny, you know? So it started, but, but there's, some fame, there's some bigger, far bigger YouTubers than me 
that started something on YouTube and then strayed over to something else. I watch Boogie2988. I watch him quite a lot on YouTube. Um, he always talks about his channel started off as a World of Warcraft channel, apparently, on YouTube, and then it quickly become something else. It evolved into gaming, and then it evolved into, like, him commenting on on stuff on on um <sighs> dramas youtube dramas he was commenting on youtube dramas and he was getting loads of views for it and then he got and then he got kind of uncomfortable and he went back to doing his his previous stuff and it's, it's less of a gaming channel now it's more about him him as a person and and that's only because he's dictated by who's watching. If he does a video about him losing weight, because he's like, he was about 40 stone. I think he's down to about 30 stone. He's had the gastro bypass thing in his stomach. Um, he um, talks about his health, his and, and he gets loads of views. If he talks about games, you'll get half the views. I'm in the very similar predicament here with beer. I love beer as much as you people here. I really do. I really do. I go out and brew beer. I smell the hops. I eat the malt. I drink the wort. I drink the beer. I drink beer probably every night of the week when I'm on a on a when I'm on one when I'm on one. But I go and do a chili review. And I get 20,000 views. It's like, where, where do I go? Where do I go with it? Uh, right. I need to have to use the mouse. I need to touch the Mac then to, to scroll down. There's a few comments I've missed. Uh, honest opinion. I think maybe you do too many videos. 40 in a week uh, is a lot compared to other YouTubers. Uh, hard for a viewer to keep up, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jenkins, I'm going to call you just just Jenkins from from now on. Um, even when I reply to your comments, I'm going to call you just Jenkins. There's a reason for that. There's a big reason for that. There's not a lot of people out there that realise that YouTube is actually the second largest search engine in the world search engine in the world it's the second largest search engine in the world so that means if i use my noggin if i have five videos on youtube then people are not in terms of youtube in terms of in terms of everything on youtube them five videos are going to be lost in space, literally lost in space. If I produce two videos a day, stick them out there, chuck them. As far as I'm concerned, I've, I've got them in a in a sock. I've got a brick in the sock. That's my YouTube video, and I've thrown the sock with a brick in. I've thrown it out there. It's gone. It's out there. It's 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 for people who want to search for something on the, on that big search bar, they search for something. And Mac, as I love the passion, you deserve much more success. Thank you very, very much, Aaron. Thank you very, very much. Um, I want to call my wife. I, she's like, no, don't call. I'm in my dressing gown. I'm in my dress. Don't call me. But I want to show her how this, this, this kind of thing. I'm just so, so humble, so humble by this. I want to call her, but she's in a dressing gown. She's like, oh, no, 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 I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> she went nuts as well. She went nuts if I call her in now. I'm humble because I'm, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm standing in the kitchen. See that crack? See that crack right there? There. That crack is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And one day the bloody kitchen's going to fall down. And there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it. Because I have a simple job and I live in a simple house. And one day this old 1887 
house that's 120 years old is going to fall down. The reason why I'm so humble is for stuff like that. I mean, I mean, the reason why I'm humble, let me rephrase that. The reason why I'm so humble for like the, 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 the donations that come through is because I've always been a man with no money. I've always been a man with no money. And when that type of thing comes through, it's absolutely, incredibly fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that two pound that just come through. Uh, uh, yeah, so so going back to Jenkins, uh, the reason why I put two out a day is because it's like throwing a sock into the sky, going out to space, and like it becomes, it goes out into this void, goes out into this massive void. So by producing two videos a day, it's not so much of a void. I'm like almost like dot connecting. People search for littles. People search for Aldi, people search for Aldi's Vice Beer, people might search for London Pride, people might search for uh, McKellar. Max and Spencer's McKellar Beer. It's part of the reason why I'm doing this live feed tonight. I won't, no, no beating about the bush, I'll be perfectly honest with you, if I do a live feed, the viewership is absolutely incredible. Incredible. Um, your database is big enough already, Simon. Uh, you're on the map. Just if you do one a day at a set time, it gives people so, something to look forward to. Uh, it's nice knowing real crap here. We'll have a new video, yeah. Totally, totally agree with you. So, I have thought about kind of because I'm getting older. When I sat in this time, I was 30, I was 30 years of age. I feel inside. Inside this massive hunk of a body, <laughs> I feel inside like I'm 21. I do. I feel like I'm 21 year old. I still spring out of bed, touch wood, 6:30 in the morning. As soon as the sun starts to break the dawn, the darkness, as soon as it starts getting light. Bing! I'm I'm awake. I'm I'm up. I'm I'm out of bloody bed. I'm I'm like, hey, come on, world! What have you got for me today? But it's this time of day. I've always I've always struggled. You can see bleary eyed, kind of baggy eyes. I struggle with the night. I'm ready by ten o'clock. If I was just go in that living room now, grab a bag of. These cheese and chive crisps from Lidl's, which I'm going to take in the living room. With I was going to say with my beer, but I've nearly finished all my beer now. Four cans of nearly drunk. If I was to sit down, within 10 minutes, right, I'd be like this. Gone. You can see. You can, you can see. It's like pee holes in the snow. You can see it. Tired, tired, tired guy. So... Nigel, review. Uh, I wish it was like that. Fair play, Simon. Um, too much information, sorry. What information? What information have I given out? Um, where can I get the hot stag chili? You can get the hot stag chili from Morrison's, Tesco, if you're in the UK. Or if you're living in Europe, Google it. Stick it into Google. Uh, that glass is always empty. Time for another. <sighs> do I stay or do I go now? Uh, press one if you want one more beer. <laughs> press one. Dial the dial tone, number one. Um, Favourite UK brewery? At the moment, honestly, probably Northern Monk. Maybe Wylam, maybe Magic Rock. There's a few circling round on my radar, but <laughs> I love it. I love it. Holy fuck, you got yeah. Uh, I've got to find some beer now. Hang on. All this beer is reviewing beer. 
Let me go and get a beer. I gotta go conservatory. I gotta go to the conservatory. That's where I stole all my cold beer. What's this now? I need closer to an interview with James Watt. Um Jacob Wright. Let me get a beer. I will be back now and we'll talk about the James Watt subject. Because we have had a conversation, me and James. I'll be back now. Let me get a let me get a, a beer. Just like that. Remember Tommy Cooper? Remember Tommy Cooper? Just like that. I stole my wife's beer. She was like, she was about to have a taste. And, and, I, and I come sliding through. <laughs> and I took it off her. Just like that. Tommy Cooper. Just like that. <laughs> he was from Wales. I think Tommy Cooper was from Wales. He died on stage, I think. Poor bugger. Um, dial one for a beer. We got a beer. Um, oh, what was that question I was going to answer? Fucking dull ad. I'm a proper dull ad, didn't I? What was that question? Mm -hmm. That was it. James Watt. Uh, we did it. Yeah, we did a video with James Watt. Um, no, 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 no. We didn't do a video. No, we didn't do a video with James Watt. I'll take that back. I had a conversation with James Watt on Twitter. And um, he... I've got a patron. I have a patron. I think I'm called Real Ale Guide on Patreon. I just don't advertise it. I'm quite a humble, quite a humble guy. I mean, do I talk about other beer channels? No, nah. nah. I, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. I'm quite a humble guy. Um, there's some, there's some. I say I'm quite a humble guy. Then I start talking about it. Then I'm oh, drag too much drink now. I'm going to talk about it anyway. Um, no, I won't. You know the beer channel. If you want a live feed, gotta gotta subscribe to us on Patreon. I've said too much. I've said too much already. Um, um, James Watt, Twitter, Twitter, James Watt. Um, we had a conversation one night about eleven o'clock on a Sunday. It was really late. Um, he really wanted me to come to the brewery, uh, the new sour facility that they were opening. Um, and it was kind of a, like a, 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 almost like a shut up, a shut up invite. Come up. We'll rub your back. We'll, we'll, we'll rub your back all night long. We'll rub the back of your head. We'll get some young woman in the marketing department, maybe stroke your hair for you a little bit, make you feel nice. And then you can drink our beer and you can tell us how good our sour beer is. And then we'll send you back home to Wales. And um, and I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm up for that. Yeah, I'm up for that. And then, and then, um, then I had another email off or, or, or from Twitter, personal thing going on on Twitter, where we were just being lads. Me and James Watt were just being lads. And then I had this really formal, like it was written by somebody. I had this really formal email off James Watt, something like, at this, at this time, um, we will not be inviting you to the Sour facility. And... To be honest with you, I didn't even reply. I didn't reply to that email. It would have fallen on deaf ears. It was a, it was a, one of those commercial emails. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, set up Patreon so we can donate monthly, please. Um, oh, I haven't got the means to find my Patreon channel. I have, I have it. Um, it's either called Real Ale Craft Beer or Real Ale Guide on, on Patreon. Um, <coughs> pardon me. That is really lovely. That is a really lovely thing to say. Somebody is willing to pay a, the same subscription that they will pay for Netflix to watch our channel on YouTube. And that is just an absolutely, that is a proper, that is a proper, you know, like a, 
a wonderful type of path on the back that is. I mean, Netflix have got millions of billions of pounds to, to make content. I have no money to make content, yet people want to pay to watch me on YouTube by donating via Patreon. Aaron, what a fantastic, what a fantastic gesture. Sinessa, uh, have to go. Uh, kids about, where did that go? Gone. Where did that go? Uh, Sinessa, I think you were saying you were going to go. Sinessa, thank you very much for, oh, you're back. You're back. You're back. Yeah, you're back. Um, do you know what? I wish I had some barber beer. If I had a barber pale ale now, mm. that, would, that would that would be that would be a nice beer to, to, to finish off the night. Stewie, evil cap ruin co. Good evening, Simon. How are we doing? How are we doing, Stewie? Mate, you make some wicked beer. You make some terrific beer. That that macaroon stout was <laughs> that was like one of the best stouts I've had all year long. I know I'm talking to you live now, so comment. We'll have a chat. I'll talk to you. You comment. We'll have a conversation live, yeah? Like this. You comment back. I speak to you. I do apologise. On the videos, I'm almost begging you to open a brewery. That is just part of the passion of my video. That is just part of the moment, yeah? There's part of me that, that, that realises that life isn't like that, is it? It's not like that where you can just go, okay, I'm going to open a, a commercial, I'm going to rent now this this unit, it's going to cost me X amount of money, uh, I'm going to buy a van, I'm going to buy casks, and I totally understand all of that. It's just, it's just, your beer is that good that it it kind of just draws it out of me. It draws, uh, it draws it out of me. So, um Although you you for me you make the best homebrew in the flipping world. Your homebrew is like the best ever. Um, I want to apologise and, and in the middle of the reviews I often say, please, Stuart, evil cat brewing, please open a brewery. I totally kind of retract that. Um, life's not really like that, is it? Life's not really like that. Okay, going back to. Um, Sinessa, uh, do more traveling. Uh, film beers at their locations. Uh, people loved it. Uh, you were awesome. Guests and creation loved you. Uh made a bar. You visited it. It's packed full since. Do you know that is that is the the reason that is the reason why we do it. That is the reason why we do this whole thing. One day it would be a wonderful business. If I could make it a wonderful business, that would be amazing. In the meantime, making because. I was there. This guy's face was like, he was, he was like, just totally, it was like relief. Complete relief that his bar was full, his bar is full every single night. And what's this now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, somebody's put my Patreon site on. Where's Mr. Aaron McIntyre? Are you still watching, Aaron? Aaron, um, I'm not sure if you can see this mouse that I'm scrolling over. It's by Digawi, Digawi Sam. They found the link to my Patreon. So, I've had a bit to drink. It's always awful asking for this type of thing, but if any of you feel the need to visit our Patreon, if you want to visit our Patreon and donate to something thank you thank you i'm not going to talk about it anymore i'm not i've, I've never as I've, as I've talked about i've got a massive crack in the kitchen wall this thing's falling down um I don't have enough money to move house i live in a deprived area of the uk but, but on the bright side, on the bright side, I have this wonderful thing called beer. I have this wonderful thing called beer. Um, I'm a very humble guy. I'm not going to stand here with a crack in my own kitchen, 
in my own kitchen. The wall's going to one day fall down. And it's all going to fall down. I'm not going to stand here in the position that I'm in asking you guys to support me on Patreon. I've got, I, somebody's nice enough there to show me, to, to show you guys the Patreon. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say, please go and visit our Patreon. I'm not going to do that because I'm in this situation. I'm in this situation. Some of you guys might be in this situation. I totally understand it. Let's move on. Let's move on. Some of these Anthony, Andy T said, just drink the thing. Okay, chill out, man. Chill out. <sighs> right. Stuart, evil cat. Uh, just put a macaroon. Um, Simon, uh, do you own your home brew? Do you own home brew? Oh, um, I've done a little bit of home brewing. I've done a little bit of home brewing in the past, but not much. I'm not the, you know, Sinessa. Sinessa is probably watching. Knows I'm not a brewer. I'm not a brewer. I'm the guy who collaborates with breweries. I I collaborate in a way that I take my camera, I interview, I'm enthusiastic. I know so much about brewing beer. I'm not an expert. And I won't stand here and be an expert about beer. I will go, yes, I can tell you all about beer. I can I can the taste, I can tell you all about the taste of beer. Ask me to brew some kind of amazing style double IPA, and I, I, I'll have a go. I'll have a go. But um, my expertise come in the filming. I'll visit a brewery. I'll interview. I'll film. Um, I'll talk. We'll have fun. We'll drink. That's the collaboration. That's the collaboration. In terms of in terms of being qualified in terms of being um educated in terms of owning a brewery i'm not qualified in 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 that way and i've always been i've always been honest about that i've always been 100 percent completely honest down that line i've missed stuart's comments i really want to get um up the cacao nibs and the boil is longer on the turn of oak uh, thanks, buddy. Uh, so much appreciated. No, see, honestly, I, you know, like at the moment, living in the UK, life's pretty tough at the moment. It's not easy, is it? It's not easy living in the UK in 2018. We got clueless people in charge of us, trying to trying to negotiate something that's just way above their heads. It's like way above. I mean, these people have never walked on a high street in their lives. You imagine Theresa May walking down Barry's High Street, where I live. She's like, I'm going to go in the top shop. Oh, it's closed. I'm going to go into New Look. Oh, it's closed. I'm going to go into Quicksafe. Oh, it's closed. I'm going to go into Burton's. It's closed. I live in the largest town in Wales, right? I live in the largest town in Wales. And if I go down my high street in the largest town of Wales... I cannot buy any kind of men's clothing. There's no men's clothing shops in Barry anymore at all, unless you go to Tesco and you buy their F and F range shirts and trousers or, or t-shirts. But I've got no problem with that. I've got nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, no Burtons, no Topshop. We, when I was growing up, you had Top Shop, you had Burton. It was a main body high suit. It was brilliant. Go down there and, you know, you pick up your stuff, you talk to your mates, and it's all gone. It's all gone. It's all completely ruined. <laughs> I'm crying, though. Like a little baby. Andy T, drink the fucking thing. Uh, I've got a crack here. Oh, really? Uh, 
Stewart's. Uh, um, it's my dream. I need to get a brewery. I see, and then the conversation goes with Jenkins. Jenkins, do it, do it. Um, you're happy, and that's all. That exactly. I'm a very, very happy person. Although we talked about this whole Patreon thing, although we talked about money, which I very rarely talk about, I am a very happy person. I'm a very happy person. And there's people out there that are not happy. And that's worse than having a little crack in your kitchen. I'm sure of it. I'm pretty sure of it. If you're happy, if you're happy... And you know it. Clap your hands. <laughs> right. Um, uh, Cookie Burgers and the George Foreman. Uh, buy your clothes at George for men. Exactly. Exactly. As long as you're happy. As long as you're happy. As long as you're happy. Uh, I'm on UK living wage. It's, it's, it's uh, Gary Thompson. <laughs> It's, do we get political? I'm almost like, I've, I've broken, if, if you've been watching long enough, I've broken the seal again. Look, I'm holding the, I'm holding the back of my chair. I'm like, I've broken the seal again, guys. I'm like, totally the time, totally the time. <laughs> um, I don't, we've gotten so political, yeah? Uh, Barry is rough as my study. Let's show that comment. Uh, by Barry is rough as a holes, to be honest. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. I'm from Barry. I'm from Barry. I lived in Barry. I'm, you know, there's people. If you if you know this area, right? There's people who live in Barry, and then there's people who live in Caddickston. Caddickston. I've lived in Caddickston. I'm 39 years of age, right? I've lived in Caddickston for 38 of those years. I spent a bit of time in the army. I spent a bit of time in a flat, a very small amount of time in a flat in High Street. The rest of the time, I've lived my whole life in Caddickston. Google it. C A D O X T. O N. Google Caddickston Barry. It's not for the faint hearted. It's not for the faint hearted. It's probably why the reason why I've still got a six pack. You're like you're like a, a human, someone will just come up and, and crack you over the back of the head with a baseball bat for no reason around these parts. It's really quite rough. It's really quite rough. Um what football team do you sport? I you um Football is quite a hard subject. I'm a massive fan of a football club. Um, I was gutted yesterday. Um, do I talk about the situation? What happened yesterday with with with? I think Neil Warnock was pretty angry at the end of the game. He was he was pretty angry. He was kind of like you could tell at the beginning. He was very diplomat. Before the game, he was very diplomatic. He was very uh, oh we tried we wanted to cancel the game at the end of the game. He knew, he knew that Leicester were there for the taking and he was, you, you, he couldn't hide his frustration. That man could not hide his frustration. He was like, three points, definitely lost. Definitely lost. Um, and yeah, I was kind of gutted too. I was kind of gutted too. I am a Cardiff fan, yeah. I'm a Cardiff City fan. Um who is my favourite James Bond? Um, the cheesy one. The cheesy James Bond is my favourite one. What is his name? Roger Moore. <laughs> Roger Moore. He was like smooth, wasn't he? You know, he was like the the Mr. Proper Mr. Smooth. Roger Moore. Roger Moore is my favourite James Bond. He just had that way about him, didn't he, you know? Um, yeah, Roger Moore. Roger Moore is my favourite James Bond. Uh, if you open another beer, and I will, what? Well, yes, I wonder if you got to, to Roger Moore. <laughs> uh, Jenkins, baking muffins and sauce. Okay, um, 
71 live viewers. Thank you all very much for watching. It's 10 past nine in the evening. Uh, I'm watching YouTube Premium. I've got YouTube Premium, guys. I've moved on from Netflix. Netflix is gone. I'm on YouTube Premium. I'm watching Cobra Kai. <laughs> I'm watching the Karate Kid sequel, um, Cobra Kai. I'm going to go and sit and watch it with a wife, um, Roger Moore and, and Richard Burton in the Wild Geese. What a movie. Uh, one more for the road, I'll be dead. I will die. If I, if I drink another beer, that'll be the bloody end of me. I'll tell you what I'll do, just for you guys. I'm going to save this and make it last for the next half an hour. <sighs> I'm going now. I promise I'm going. Five beers. Hang on. Jenkins had his comment upheld by YouTube. I've just allowed the comment. Fuck yeah, the wild geese. Um, uh, press five for the beer review. No, not a good god. No good god. I'm dead. I'm dead. God, I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, thank you all so very much for watching. I've gotta go. To I've gotta go toilet again, guys. I've gotta go for a pee. I really have. I, gotta I keep looking down at the bloody the cameras up here. I'll look at the camera. I gotta go, guys. I've gotta go for a pee. I'm really, really busting for a pee. Um, uh, what's the beer? Who we're gonna say? San Miguel. Sam Miguel, come on now, the beer hooligan, come on. See that light still flashing on that new thing I got? I'm not happy about that. Hello, I'm Italian. I follow you from some time. You're strong. Uh, continue that. Excuse my English. Thank you very much. And that is from uh, Mirko Apolliani. Mirko Apolliani. Thank you very much. I am going. I'm dancing. I need to use the toilet. I'm going. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Thank you all for the donations. The donations have been absolutely terrific. And of course, thank you if you visit our Patreon. I'm going. See you all again soon. I'll be releasing a video tomorrow morning. I'll be releasing a video 5 p.m. in the evening. Tune in. Thank you. Goodbye. Love you all. Morton. Wee. Morton. Night down. Cheers, Charles Dunn. Nine night, night, Simon. Uh, go <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Goodbye.